I'm Bob Orr along with Juan Zarate, our national security analyst. Juan, good to see you. Bob, great to see you. Uh, big news developing now from uh, the president's trip to uh, Southeast Asia. What's the significance here? Well, we've seen uh, flickers of diplomatic opening. Uh, this is the, how President Obama has talked about this from Burma. Bur Burmese leadership has sent signals that they want uh, a rapprochement with the West. We talked about this about three weeks ago on Flashpoints, uh, where the Burmese junta, led by a new leader, um, had signaled not only that they wanted to deal with Aung San Suu Kyi, the uh, Nobel Peace Prize winning uh, democratic activist in Burma, but also was, were willing to look at the release of other uh, political prisoners and also beginning to talk with the West in a more open way. And so that has been received well by the United States. Part of the dynamic here, Bob, and we talked about it uh, on Flashpoints, is the Burmese have chafed a bit at uh, the Chinese influence in Burma. Uh, and they've rejected a major uh, power plant, hydro plant deal in the north. Uh, that has created some resentment with China. But this is important. This is important because it's a diplomatic opening with a regime that we've not had relations with for a long time. Uh, Secretary Clinton will be the first Secretary of State to visit uh, Burma in, I think, about 50 years. Um, and it gives a signal to the regime that there's a possibility here, if they come through with their commitments, to actually uh, open up and to reestablish relations with the West. For the United States, this is important, too, because it not only shows that diplomacy can work, uh, the Obama administration likes that, but you also have a counterpoise to China at a time when the United States try to make the point that we are a Pacific power, that we're there to stay, and that we're going to uh, certainly uh, counter, if not contain, Chinese uh, expansion. Uh, one final point here, Bob. I find it very important and interesting from a political and diplomatic perspective that the president reached out and spoke to Aung San Suu Kyi directly, and he made a point of saying that he did so. That's important for a couple reasons. One, it empowers her, the, the president of the United States of America speaking directly to her, and in, in many ways she was the gatekeeper to this engagement. And so that becomes very important. She, her role with this rapprochement becomes even more important. Secondly, it's the first time I, uh, that I can perceive that the president in some ways may have been using his Nobel Peace Prize status to uh, American effect. That is to say, he reached out to a fellow Peace Prize winner. Uh, and the two of them uh, talked and coordinated on this uh, diplomatic uh, rapprochement. And so that, to me, is symbolically very important and may signal that the president sensed uh, an opportunity here not only to empower Aung San Suu Kyi, but to use his own label and leadership uh, for a diplomatic opening. And the powerful signal to the world is the announcement that Secretary Clinton will be going there. That's a big deal. Who's the audience for this message? Is this a message to China? Well, there's multiple audiences. First, there's an internal audience within Burma, uh, both the, the junta to say uh, there can be rewards to opening up and to doing the right things, the, the types of things like the release of political prisoners that you've committed to and that we want to push you to do. So th there's a, a clear signal to the regime itself that opening up is going to bring rewards. And Secretary Clinton coming to the Capitol is a huge symbol of that potential reward. It's also a symbol to the activists, the peace act activists, and Aung San Suu Kyi internally, that there is support, that the West is watching, and that there is support from the West, and that Secretary Clinton, in coming to uh, Burma, is not coming to kowtow to the regime, but in fact is coming as a vanguard for their cause. And so there's an internal dynamic, an audience that we'll be playing to. But I think the China audience is very important here. The United States, uh, just as President Obama announced the placement of troops in northern Australia, uh, Secretary Clinton announced a naval deal with the Philippines. Uh, we attended the summit uh, in Honolulu, declaring ourselves a permanent Pacific power. All of this is important as a signal to China that we're not going anywhere and that we are a power to be contended with and a signal to other allies in the region that we are a power to be leveraged and used to counterpoise against any Chinese expansion.